Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and this is Jeff Grant Media Reviews. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the All Seal Robot Friend. Now, they did reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to take a look at this here little robot. And I said, yeah, that looks like fun. Of course, I would like to take a look at a remote controlled robot. So they did send this to me for free, but all of the thoughts in this video are mine and mine alone. I'm not being paid to say anything positive or negative about what's inside this box. So we're going to start by opening up and see what we have inside. And we have ourselves a new robot. See, we got a USB charger, a screwdriver, a robot, and a controller. Now the screwdriver was to put batteries in the remote control. So I went ahead and I put two AA batteries inside the back of the remote control, and the USB is for the robot friend. And uh, a real review, I'm gonna give this to my daughter to play with. Uh, but before we do that, I'm gonna play with this a little bit and uh, yeah, I'm gonna play with this right now. Oh, he knocked it over, bud. Dude. Dude. Dude, come here. Sit. Sit. Dude, stay. Okay, so this is pretty fun. Now there's a couple of the buttons here. Well, it looks like eyeballs all the way on. Eyeballs flashing, eyeballs off. Makes it talk or play music. Playing Christmas music, fitting, because it's December. That's creepy. No idea. Oh, we're trapped. Come here, Duke. Okay, so this button makes it do that beep sound. This button makes them go a little crazy. Do his own thing. I'm not controlling it at all right now. We have to go rescue him again. You can't get back up the bump on the carpet. Come here, dude. And this button. Plays the creepy music, maybe. Not working now. This button was playing the music. That button on the end does flashy lights. No eyes. Eyes all the way on. Okay, this button was doing the music. Not working now. Then obviously we have Duke. Ah. Duke. Forward, back, left, right. Now I'm really digging this thing, and it looks like uh, Duke is digging it too. One thing I notice is the head does move, but there's no control 
on the controller to make it move, so you have to move it um, manually. But so you can get a better look of the, uh, the eyes. We have off, solid on, flashing, and then one more time, turns them off. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, give this to my daughter to play with. Uh, she's making cookies with her uh, grandmother right now. So when she gets home, she's going to give this a twirl and uh, then we'll finish this off with a full review of both what I and her think about it. Ruby Bob. What's his name? Ruby Bob. Ruby Bob? Press the forward button. You just turn it off. Press, press the middle button again. Hold it in until the red light comes on. <laughs> Here comes Hazel's robot. Hazel's robot? Is he running out of power? There you go. Maybe the carpet's too thick for him. <laughs> Can you make him go in any other direction? <laughs> Backwards. Hit the other way. Make him go the other way. He makes noises. I know, your favorite thing to spin is circles. <laughs> Hit the other way, baby. Well, that, you'll break them. No, you use the controller. You know he makes noises too, right? Hit the little buttons at the bottom. One of them turns his eyes off. Wow! Yeah, one of them makes his eyes look different colors. No, no, not the power button. Hit these buttons. Look at You have the controller upside down, baby. Turn it the other way. There you go. <laughs> so there you have it. The testing has been done. She really, really likes the robot friend. Um, she likes to spin around in circles, loves to just dance around in circles, spin in circles, go on rides that spin her in circles. So as soon as she found out if she just holds one of the buttons, the robot spins, she was spinning herself. That was uh, the most fun for her. I did notice um, it was having a little bit of trouble on the carpet upstairs. It's a little bit thicker than the green carpet that I was playing around with down here in the studio in the basement. Uh, so I did have to put on the hardwood, but once it was on the hardwood or the, uh, the tile in the kitchen, it worked completely fine. Uh, but yeah, that little bit of a carpet, it did have a little bit uh, of an issue. The carpet's not, I don't wanna say shaggier, but it's just, it's a little bit more plush than the one down here. Uh, the one on here is also in the basement because it's really old and it's kind of beat up. So it's, uh, 
it's just a, it's pretty much a shot carpet. So if you have a, uh, a carpet that's a little bit plush, your robot friend may not work on it, but uh, just put it on some, uh, some smoother carpet uh, or a tile kitchen floor. Or if you have hardwood, do it on that. Um, once she also found out that, I forget what button it was, but I think it was this one maybe it makes it sing and dance uh she really liked that so all in all my daughter really loved the robot toy from all seal so if you saw this thinking about it uh it's good for i guess three and up i don't know if the box yeah the box is three plus my daughter is three uh so yeah this was a um a pretty good toy for her she really enjoyed it and uh, i think she's gonna keep playing with it the only problem with this is the dog also wants to play with it and since he's a chewer we got to be careful because it does make sounds it makes it the lights flash and uh it definitely draws the attention of the dog so i have to throw the dog out in the backyard so he did not get to the toy and uh trash it on her but she loves it um and yeah so it's got the hazel seal of approval so if you're looking at the all seal robot friend uh yeah i think your kid's gonna love it um it's not a huge investment so if they only play with it for a couple of weeks which is probably what's going to be that happen here is she'll play with it for a couple weeks christmas is coming she'll get all of her toys for christmas and then i'm sure in another month or two down the road she'll find it in a drawer and uh play with this non-stop again because that's usually what happens the things that make noise she forgets about after a while and then finds them again and doesn't stop so uh there you have it it's hazel seal of approval so if you like this video or any of my other videos don't forget to like comment share and subscribe smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time i post a brand new video good night